Hello everyone, my name is Ice from Technic Force, and we are still on our Leads to List software training. And today I will be showing you how to add autoresponders to Leads to List application. Autoresponders are messages set to go out automatically. This is essential for your lead ads. Now, if you are running a lead form in Facebook, this will definitely save you a lot of time and effort. Say someone signed up or clicked on your ad requesting for information. If you have an autoresponder set, the system will automatically send out a response to the user's provided email, so there is no need for you to go in front of your computer to check it, allowing you more time to focus on other things. Let's begin. So now we are on our Leads to List dashboard. On the left-hand side, you will see a bunch of different segments. Just go and click on Auto Responders. On this page, you will be able to see all the autoresponder that you have linked to your Leads to List application. You can manage them here on this page. On the right portion of the screen, you will see the Action tab, which will give you three different options. We have Sync New List, which will allow you to refresh your autoresponder list and sync it to work with the application, which I will show you how to utilize a little later. We also have show lists to view your current list for this particular autoresponder. And of course, delete account to remove a particular autoresponder account from the list. Or if you prefer to clear all accounts on this list, click on the red button that says delete all. Now to add an autoresponder to your leads to list application, all you have to do is to click on the green button that says Add Autoresponder. Now make sure you are logged in to your autoresponder account. On this page shows a form you need to fill out. Now there are given autoresponders here. Just select one by clicking on the drop down arrow. Scroll down and choose the autoresponder account you are using. Now let's say I am using MailChimp. Just click on that one and it will then ask for an API key. To obtain this, go to your MailChimp account where you're currently logged in. Click on your profile name on the upper right corner of the screen. Then choose profile. As you can see, you are directed to a page about the details you have registered with MailChimp when you sign up. Now click on Extras to reveal more options. Then select API Keys. Scroll down and look for the given API key for your application or click on Create a Key so the system will generate a new one. Now here is where you will find your API key. Just copy this, then go back to your Leads to List application and paste it in the API key field. Now, after that, just click on Authorize. As you can see, the list has already been updated showing the autoresponder account we have just added. Now, I will show you how Sync New List tab is working. These are actually the list you have created on your autoresponder account that separates each entry of incoming leads. That way, the system will be able to distinguish each lead depending on the category you have set it to. It could be according to the customer's age bracket, location, etc. So now I will show you a quick demo on how to create a new list on MailChimp and have it appear on our Leads to List application. We are now on our MailChimp dashboard. All you have to do is to click on the List tab located on the upper portion of the screen. Here you will see all the lists you have previously created. Now to add new, just click on Create List. Now it will give you an option whether you want to create a new list or want to subdivide existing list with groups. Let's click on Create List. Then fill out the given form. Let's go ahead and try to fill this out. Provide the list name. Um, the default email address from that will appear on the email and the default name as well. And uh, 
you can also add a short reminder to tell your or the users why are they getting this particular email so this is where you can put any message now after completing the form just scroll down and click on save as you can see there is a notification that says we have successfully added a brand new list to our account now to sync it with uh, our leads to list application let's go back to it and uh, this is actually the one that we have created a while ago as you can see we don't have anything yet showing now when you click on sync new list it will automatically add the list that we have created from our MailChimp website. Now you may also click on show list to provide you more information about the list on that particular autoresponder account. That's about it for our topic today. Thank you for watching.